our education minister Sri Bhupendra Singh Ji, Chudasama Ji, my fellow members of the board, faculty, teachers, staff, students and parents, and my dear friends. A very warm good morning to each and every one of you. I wish all of you good health and safety and I hope that you are all taking the necessary precautions to keep yourself and your dear ones safe and protected. India has entered a crucial phase in the fight against COVID-19 pandemic. We cannot afford to let our guards down at this juncture. And we are extremely privileged to have our Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Bhai Modi, as the chief guest for today's event. His passionate and dynamic leadership has made the world sit up and take notice of the emergence of a new India. His confidence and conviction have inspired and galvanized the entire nation. I am sure that the bold reforms introduced under his leadership will pave way for India's swift recovery and rapid economic progress in the years to come. Friends, all of us know that PDPU itself is a product of our most loved Prime Minister Narendra Bhai's Atmanirbhar vision. It is a vision he cherished even when he was Chief Minister of Gujarat to make India self-reliant in the areas of energy, energy education, research and innovation. PDPU is only 14 years old, yet it already ranks among the top 25 in the Atal ranking of institutions on innovation achievements. In terms of diversity, we attract international students from across the world. We have 284 international students from 39 countries. And from a total of 132 students in the first convocation in 2009, we have 2,608 students, including 46 PhDs who are graduating today. From national rankings, I am sure PDPU will soon earn a place in global rankings. My dear teachers, PDPU has world-class physical infrastructure. But what gives me far greater joy is that PDPU has world-class faculty as well. Your dedication and commitment to excellence has been exemplary. In the best practice of India's Guru Parampara, you have always gone beyond the call of duty. You have been friends, guides and mentors to your students. Let's take a moment to appreciate the leadership and faculty of and the staff of PDPU. Let us give them a warm applause. Friends, today I have special reason to applaud PDPU. The COVID-19 pandemic has cast a shadow on the academic lives and careers of students across the world. Precious hours of academic engagement, debate and research have been lost in lockdowns. Yet, our own PDPU did exceptionally well even in these challenging times. The flame of teaching and learning at PDPU shone brightest even during the darkest days of the pandemic. Our faculty continued to present award-winning research papers in national and international conferences. Our students continued to enjoy co-curricular and extracurricular activities held digitally. These facts make me proud of our university. But my heart swelled with greater pride when I learned that PDPU had contributed to the nation's fight against COVID-19. Our teachers and students designed several medical equipment, including an ICU ventilator. I salute the leadership of PDPU for combining Gyan with Seva. This combination is the greatest badge of honor for any educational institution. We are members of the PDPU community. Our accomplishments so far have been a source of joy. However, we have to prepare ourselves to scale still higher summits of success. The future of energy is being shaped by unprecedented changes 
and these changes are impacting the future of humanity, indeed the very future of our planet. The most important question we face is this, can we produce growing amounts of energy we need to sustain our economies without harming the environment, without failing to fulfill our climate change obligations? We must be prepared to answer this question with a very confident yes. But the middle, by the middle of this century, the world will use twice as much energy as we use today. In the next two decades, India's own per capita energy needs will be more than twice as much as today. Therefore, India is required to simultaneously pursue two goals, to become an economic superpower and to become a green and clean energy superpower. To achieve these twin goals, we need disruptive solutions in renewables, low carbon and carbon recycle technologies. We need breakthrough in new energy sources such as green and blue hydrogen. We also need great innovations in energy storage, saving and utilization. As a person from the energy business, I can assure the students and faculty of PDPU that you are entering an exciting future. But what makes it even more exciting is the synergy between the energy revolution and the fourth industrial revolution. If we master this synergy, we will surely be able to make India one of the most prosperous nations in the world. And India that guarantees prosperity and well-being for all our 1.3 billion Indians. Honorable Chief Minister Sri Vijay Bhai Rupani Ji, Gujarat is a trailblazer state. It has always shown the pioneer spirit. Today the entire world acknowledges that a new Gujarat has paved the path for a new India. The visionary leadership of our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi Ji that Gujarat received is now available to the nation. I must compliment you and your team for making vibrant Gujarat even more vibrant under the guidance of Sri Narendra Bhai and Sri Amit Bhai. Where is our solemn assurance to you today? PDPU will continue to make its unique contribution to enhancing the reputation of Gujarat and India in energy education and research. My dear young graduates, I see in you 2,608 future builders of a strong, proud and vibrant India. My heartiest congratulations to you on your success. May all your dreams come true as you embark on a new journey in your life. However, Always remember an important life lesson. Learning is a constant and never-ending process of exploration, discovery and adventure. A true student never stops the pursuit of knowledge. Therefore, here is my message to you and I am only repeating Mahatma Gandhi's wise words. Learn for life. Learn through life and learn throughout life. I have another message for you. When you step out of this beautiful campus, you will no doubt carry wonderful memories with you, but perhaps you will carry some concern, some uncertainty, some anxiety about the future. This is only natural. The COVID situation will likely accentuate your thoughts and feelings. Therefore, I would like to tell you with great emphasis today, venture out with supreme hope and confidence. The future is very bright for India, for you and for all Indians. This is our ancient nation that has faced many adversities in the past and has emerged stronger each time. This is because resilience is in the very DNA of Indian people and Indian culture. In the post-COVID era, I clearly foresee explosive and exponential growth in the Indian economy. Within a couple of decades, India will be among the top three economies of the world. Growth will create unprecedented opportunities and possibilities for young and talented people like you. Indeed, most of these opportunities will be created by young entrepreneurs themselves. I see amongst you as creators of successful startups. The world is waiting for you. Step out and take the plunge. Fail if necessary but in pursuit of your dreams, with passion, purpose and persistent effort, your dreams will indeed come true. We at PDPU take pride in now calling you our alumni, our ambassadors. Make all of us at PDPU proud. Make your parents proud. 
make India proud. Once again, my hearty congratulations to the class of 2019 and 2020. Good luck and God bless. Thank you.